Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. We are going to get up to 50 today, Candy. I love it. Yesterday was fabulous. I'm ready for today. Really, really incredible. Can't... Uh, I love it, love yeah. it, love it. Can't imagine uh, 50, early February, you know, approaching mid-February, and we're going to be at 50. Um, so, yeah, just uh, let, don't question it. Just enjoy it. Uh, next few days, today, tomorrow, Saturday, uh, all looking really good, and then... You know, Candy doesn't want me to talk about Sunday, but no. But you know, listen, it's still winter. We'll leave it at that. Yes, yes, it'll it'll get colder, and uh, maybe yeah, I'm not gonna say it, but maybe, maybe on Sunday we'll see how it goes, Candy, with uh, what comes down from the sky. But uh, that's still a lot to be determined. Yes, we have many days before we get there. Did you celebrate National Pizza Day yesterday, Candy? No, I I told you yesterday we had pizza the night before. Mm -hmm. I am not a big pizza fan, so no, I didn't celebrate. I'm happy for all of you that love pizza. (laughs) No, you know me. we We discussed this in depth yesterday. Not a huge pizza fan. However, I bring it up. Because I was um, taking Leah to uh, tennis yesterday, and it is around the corner from a pizza place uh, right near the base where Dana used to work for all those Ah. years. Right. So she loves, we've had before, we all love the barbecue chicken pizza uh, out at uh, Tonino's in West Hampton. So uh, she had me order uh, garlic knots and a barbecue chicken pie from Tonino's yesterday, Candy, and we did celebrate National Pizza Day. I love it. That's how a family, a family who celebrates together, stays together. Right. There you go. Uh, And it's completely unexpected, and uh, we had a good time uh, celebrating. What did you have last night for dinner, Candy? We had this pork tenderloin. It wasn't very good, (laughs) and I made this box of um, potato pancakes out of a box. They were awful. (laughs) The steamed broccoli was very good, though. Your oh, that's good. As long as the steamed broccoli. Do you was see good. what happens when I take over the cooking? You know, when I asked you what you had for dinner last night, your whole mood and tone changed. It was <laughs> you. You should have heard yourself. You. This is what it sounded like. You were like, ah, the pork tenderloin wasn't uh, really good. No, it uh, wasn't. No. Yeah, you, you got to, uh, was it, I don't understand, was it the way it was cooked? What was going on last know. night? I don't know, I don't know. We were having a debate. He thought it was cooked enough. I didn't think it was cooked enough. Today I'm taking it and cutting it up, and tonight I'm going to make uh, like a stir fry with it so I know it's fully cooked. Um, <laughs> I didn't really eat it. I ate like two bites of it. Uh, the potato pancakes were just awful. And um, the broccoli was very good, steamed broccoli. All right, we're going to cover up the taste as much as we can tonight. We're going to do a stir fry. Gonna we're going to cover it up, baby. <laughs> All vegetables in there, maybe some rice on the side. Got to right. do something with it. It's, it, you know, it pains me to throw it out, but I'll give it one more shot. Well, enjoy that, I guess. I don't <laughs> really don't know what to tell you. I don't know either. We'll see. Uh, Candy will start you off with an interesting story today. A museum security guard got bored at an art museum in Russia on his very first day. So he was sitting there. He's a 60-year-old guy. I don't even know his name. He was on his first day of work. And he he just didn't know. He's sitting there watching paintings. And he saw a painting called Three Figures. And these three figures have no facial features. They're just blank faces. So I guess this very uh, bored Security guard decided to take a ballpoint pen (laughs) and draw faces on the blank faces, Candy. I think he might have been smoking something weird or something for that to occur. Drew eyes on them and everything. Oh, my goodness. I guess what he didn't realize is that the painting was worth over a million dollars. A couple of visitors at the museum noticed it. They alerted uh, the people there, and we assume the, the guard is no longer employed at this museum, Candy. Yeah. That's may, damage. Damage yeah. done. They have to uh, pay back some of his wage from the first wow. day. Wow. I mean, <laughs> do people think at all, or they just go on impulse? Well, you know, it is 2022. I think a lot of people are going on impulse, Candy. Wow, so, wow, wow. Yeah. Uh, one more note for you, which we will discuss uh, throughout the day, and then tomorrow for sure. 
uh, Friday morning, that is tomorrow, at 9 a.m., we are going to announce our first two shows of the summer. Candy. Oh, say that again. The summer. The summer. Woohoo! Now, we are planning on having a number of shows, but tomorrow we will announce two shows of the many we are planning uh, to put out there for Long Island Community Hospital Amphitheater at Bald Hill. Uh, not necessarily in the order in which they will appear this summer in a date order, but uh, we have two that are ready for announcements. So uh, tomorrow, and we usually do it at 7.30. We decided uh, 9 a.m. is where we're going to do it uh, tomorrow. And yeah, very excited about it, Candy. So, wow, this is big, huge. I love yeah, it. Let's well, talk more about the summer. Absolutely. We've been working hard on getting this together, and we are uh, we're getting close. Uh to uh, being very, very excited, having everyone all uh, jacked up, ready to go buy some tickets for our big summer. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.